Mr. G, welcome to my class. Hey Google, play Mozart. Sure, playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Pandora. I got my Smurf outfit on guys. How's everybody's new year? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Thanks Mrs. J. Glad everybody can make it today. We have a wonderful class today. Where's my eraser? Let's go. Thank you for whoever uh, followed. The donations and follows are all on and everything's rocking and rolling. The first piece of chalk here. We're on time. I have a wonderful lecture for you guys today. You'll really enjoy it. It's all about the wonderful state of Illinois. I'm going to put my website on there, at the bottom there. And uh, one thing known in Illinois is the Cubs. Chicago Cubs. I used to grow up watching the Cubbies. Hey, thank you. Awesome! This is Jay with 15 months subscription. Thank you so much, Mrs. J. Cocaine chair, ring the bell, I forgot. Ring a ding 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 Thank you guys. So Mrs. J is the first sub of the year. First of many. HTTPS colon slash slash for H dot S three million slash MRG underscore line. So we're going to be learning about the state of Illinois today and the city of Chicago, which is one of the largest cities in the United States. But just want to acknowledge Mrs. J for her subscription here. Let's go. Mrs. J, the mermaid, has just subscribed, and I appreciate everything 
She does. Happy 2021. That is uh, Abraham Lincoln, but I could see uh, how you could think that is a serial killer or this is a serial killer. Um, if you notice, I've got the board decorated for Chicago. Illinois, excuse me. Homosexual wrestler. Homosexual wrestler. Um, a lot of them. A lot of a lot of wrestlers were homosexual. I remember there was a Gold Dust. Right, one of my favorites. One time I was at a live WWE event and Gold Dust was walking by with his orange spandex, and me and my brother we had like front row or pretty close up seats next to the to the uh, steel bearing or whatever, and then they walked by with the crowd, and then I went to Gold Dust back, and I went to <laughs> pop, 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 pop. and I, I patted him on the back, but I just wanted to feel how Gold Dust felt. I wanted to spank Gold Dust. Figuratively speaking. Hey Google, volume uh, two, please. Gold Dust. Yeah, um, but I'll always remember, uh, you know, being like twelve years old and. Uh, you know, uh, patting a grown ma man on the back in, in gold spandex. So I have my website on the uh, screen, on the stream, uh, a stream on the on the screen of the stream. It's uh, gxnetworks.live. Yeah, he was an interesting guy, huh? Did he say harder, Daddy, when you spanked him? Uh, no, I, I was just a kid, and, and it was on his upper back. Upper back. Okay, continuing, uh, we're going to be learning about Illinois today. Uh, somebody commented on the lovely board that I have uh, for you guys. So, uh, every day, you know, every class, we have a new, uh, new state. Today is Illinois, I-L-L-I-N-O-I-S. The S is silent. Remember that, kids. The S in Illinois is silent. Okay, but what, who else do we have here? We have um, Mork from Mork and Mindy. We have uh, the Genie from uh, the Flintstones. We have the state flag of Illinois. We have Abraham Lincoln. Fucking scary looking guy, right? Uh, Illinois University, IU, or the University of Illinois, sorry, UI. Sounds like a, uh, uh, <laughs> a urinary infection, right? <laughs> UI, urinary infection, or University of Illinois. Whichever floats your boat. Oh. And then, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, I decorated the board a little bit more. We have some more cars over there. And, uh, Mr. G. Uh, this is my book right here. This is Mr. G's book, Gonzo Education. Uh, it's available uh, on Amazon, Walmart, dot com, and uh, Google. Uh, good, good color quality. Yeah. Top of the line, only the best. So no, seriously, two of Illinois' most famous sons, as they say, Abraham Lincoln and uh, Robin Williams. HTTPS colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash gonzo Thank you. Thank you very much. Hyphen brand hyphen ebook slash dp slash b zero zero w six jzrzq. Thank you very much, Mrs. J. Uh, so continuing with the uh, lecture. Um, well, I just I have the Cubs up here, but we'll put something else up. Because the Cubs is yeah, the Walmart links better. The Walmart link is better. Because uh, that, that's just Chicago Cubs. There is you know, a whole state of Illinois. Uh, one thing about Illinois is they say that a lot of people in Illinois feel that Chicago should be its own state. Um, as far as politics go, Chicago generally always votes uh, Democratic. And the rest of the state uh, generally votes Republican. Uh, Illinois has lots of farms. Um, and it's really important too. Hey, Keanu, you gonna join the class today? Fuck no. Hey, that's no way to talk to your teacher. Go to hell. 
Hey, what's wrong with you? I'm a bugger boy. It's okay. I don't like going new Kelly. MRS Jake Mermaid. Sit. Gang me on me out. And come on. Good key on you. Okay, I was like, there's another Kelly in here. D not underscore time. Sit. Is that because of the large African American population in Chicago making it one of the most dangerous cities in the country? Um, well, we're not we're not going to get into race uh, on this uh, lecture, uh, this evening. But I will tell you that it's thinking that those are people. I will tell you that um, you know it's it's a very important. We will talk slightly on politics, but we won't get into race because not every. Um, African American votes Democratic, uh, especially now. Um, you know, with the recent election, I think Donald Trump received more, uh, you know, black person votes than any other Republican candidate since Ronald Reagan, if I'm not mistaken, maybe more than Reagan. But um, they did. Uh, Illinois is pretty complicated because. There's 20 electoral votes in Illinois, which is larger than just about any state. Um, Illinois has one of the largest populations. They're sixth in population in the entire United States out of the 50 states. They're sixth in population. Um, the majority of that is in Chicago. Inside the Chicago city limits, which is not that large, is, is relatively a uh, uh, small area in population, two to three million. However, the Chicago greater metro area is somewhere close to about 9 million. So that makes it the third largest uh, metro area in the United States, right behind New York City and Los Angeles. Uh, why do so many people live there? Well, uh, it's a huge area. Like there's called the, uh, um, you know, you, when you hear about Chicago, you think that it's, it's a really bad area. But there's also the Chicago suburbs. The Chicago suburbs is voted... Uh, some of the best places to live in the entire United States in, in the northeast part of the state. And there is a lot of money in Chicago. There's a lot of wealth in Chicago. Um, the biggest, largest skyscrapers in the United States are in Chicago. Chicago has always been known for its skyscrapers. Uh, for a long time, they had the largest uh, building in the United States, in the world, which is the Sears Tower. Um, they since have changed the name to the Sears Tower. Um, I forget what the new name is. But anyways, it's one of the largest buildings in the, in the United States, larger than the Empire State Building. Uh, it's a funny story. The reason that uh, Chicago has so many skyscrapers and why they're known for the uh, skyscrapers is because they had to rebuild their city on more than one occasion uh, due to a great fire. Uh, you heard of the uh, Great Chicago Fire um, of 1874, I believe it was. Um, I'm not sure really the year. No, no, no. Uh, score time. Um, Zip. Didn't Sears go bankrupt? Probably ways and tea cheap maintaining a massive building. <laughs> Good point. Uh, I didn't, I, I, yeah, you're right. Correct. Sears did recently go bankrupt. Zip. Willis Tower. Willis Tower, that's right. Mermaid. Named Zip. after Bruce Willis, the famous yes. actor. Last year, I think. From the movie Die Hard, which takes place in Chicago. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not true. But everything else I say in the lecture is true. Yeah, Willis Tower, that's correct. Um, Chicago does have a lot of crime. You've heard of East St. Louis. Uh, that's the side of St. Louis that is on Illinois. That's one of the worst uh, areas for crime. Um, but like I said, Illinois is a big state and there's a lot of variety. Um, you know, the, uh, um, uh, there's, uh, there's one major city, and that's Chicago. Dream elements. And like I said, this, the, so, whole, the entire state of Illinois is 12 million. But in the Chicago metro area, it's like 9 million. So the majority of the state does live in the Chicago metro area by far. The other 3 million, 3 million is a lot of people. So um, thanks for the follow there. But 3 million is a lot of people, so uh, the majority of people do live in the Chicago metro area. Uh, but th like I said, they would rather um, be have Chicago be its own state. And the other 2 million people live, 2 or 3 million people, they live in a wide variety of areas. 
across the broad landscape of the great state of Illinois. Nickname, Sister. hey Michelle, aloha. I'm blessed. Hey Michelle, long time no see. Aloha. Sit. You can send Mr. G, Moses, and he on your path. So the nickname is the land of Lincoln, and also the prairie state. There's lots of prairies. There are not many mountains. The highest point in uh, the state of Illinois is the Sears Tower. The highest natural point is only like 1,200 feet. Indeed. So Michelle Sonoma, welcome to the class. Hey everybody, Mrs. J. Uh, Cody's not here. Um, Zion, uh, I know everybody's just getting back from the holidays, but we have a new student here today. Uh, she's from my old uh, school on YouTube. Uh, her name is Michelle Sonoma. <laughs> okay, continuing. Now, um, the, the way we do the lectures generally, I'll, I'll give you a rundown. Is, uh, and I'm not talking about the movie starring The Rock. No. Sit. I'm a mod on your YouTube. Yes, that's the that's Michelle Sonoma. Okay. Sit. I bought your book. I was going to mention that, but uh, shameless plug about thank you. Uh, Michelle Sonoma bought my book, Gonzo Education, here. And uh, it's available on Walmart.com and almost Michelle Amazon Sonoma. and also Amazon.com. Sit. It's autographed. And the not underscore time. Yeah. Is the second book coming out. Um, I'm working on it now. It, it, it might be at the beginning of next year. It's going to take me at least a year to edit. I have a working copy of the sequel to my autobiography. Um, hey, Mr. G. But it's coming out. Weird. I've never heard that. Have you done Ohio yet? Uh, no, I haven't done Ohio. Ohio, Michigan, and Indiana, they're all going to come after we hit up the East Coast. The second book will be uh, this time in 2022, one year from now. Happy New Year, Mr. G. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, OT. Back to Illinois. So, the, the way these lectures work is I'll talk about the state a little while, and then we'll do a slideshow. Uh, the slideshow consists of foods of the particular state or country, once we move on to countries, and then uh, famous people from the particular state, uh, famous landmarks. I have a, uh, it's an automatic uh, camera, it's a, it's a uh, bot. It's, it's cruise control. A famous director is... Oh, okay. I, I must have missed that director. Maybe Spielberg? I don't know. Yeah. Keanu's got the camera. Keanu's got the camera going. That's pretty fancy. Yes. But continuing with the lecture, because we do try to make these lectures about an hour and a half, and I do want to implement something new to the class today. And that is, once we're done with the slideshow, once we're done over the famous foods of Illinois, the famous landmarks of Illinois, uh, famous people from Illinois, we're going to actually randomly call somebody from the great state of Illinois. We're going to call them on the phone and uh, we're going to ask them what they think of their state. We're going to tell them that we're doing a live class and we're going to call them live on the phone randomly. We're going to call a random number and there's what, 20 million people there? No, there's 12 million people there. I'm sure we'll find somebody, right? We'll call somebody in Illinois and see what they think. So that's what we got to look forward to the to the at the end of the show. Hold on one second, I keep on getting uh, notifications here. Somebody's uh... Michelle Sonoma okay. said, "How is old timer doing?" <sighs> um, old timer, I haven't seen Tell him. Me. He uh, he took off somewhere, and uh, last I saw, he was running off to the distance. Notice. Lucky is also said. gone too. The new merch is here, Pop Champ, check it out. Okay, continuing with Illinois. Um, Chicago is one of the oldest cities in the United States. Illinois uh, became a state in 1818. Before that, uh, the majority of states that we've been over recently, they were bought from Louisiana, from Napoleon Bonaparte, uh, or a, 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 a purchase organized by George Washington in his senior years. Um, in uh, 1806, they purchased uh, a good portion of what is now uh, the Western and Central Lu Lu uh, United States. 
And a lot of people don't know this, that everything uh, west and of the Mississippi River, which is a border of Illinois, the Mississippi, yes, Mississippi River is the western border of Illinois, uh, was part of the Louisiana Purchase. Um, so even though Illinois goes all the way up to the Great Lakes, it still touches Kentucky. It touches some of the southern states. Um, you know, uh, the, uh, the states that Illinois border is uh, Wisconsin, Indiana, Kentucky, Missouri, Iowa, and Lake Michigan. Free is good for those kiddies. Um, well, uh, some of the, they, they, not necessarily Michelle Sonoa, like, um, old timer I did spend majority of his uh, life outside and probably did prefer it outside. Uh, hopefully, uh, Lucky comes back and, 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 and it's not necessarily, uh, the safest area at all. I live in one of the most dangerous areas in Hawaii for humans or for cats. Okay, um, one thing about skyscrapers that I did not mention is that the reason Chicago is known for so many skyscrapers is because their city burned down twice and they had to rebuild it. They actually lifted the city, the whole city, they lifted up like six feet or something because uh, before that, um, there was no natural drainage in the city. And so the, the, uh, the human waste would build up. And there was a huge they have fire trucks there? cholera. There was a huge cholera um, epidemic uh, in the United States right there in Chicago. So they went and they raised all the buildings up, like you know, uh, like twelve inches, eight inches, or something, uh, so that there would be like natural drainage. True story. Excuse me. Maybe I should eat, eat lunch before I teach this class. Michelle Sonoma. All right. That's crazy. Yes. <clears throat> and so was my mother. Not <laughs> time. Said, take a lunch break. After this class, I still have some more things to do today. Um, so continuing with the lecture, uh, the um, the state logo of Illinois is state sovereignty and national unity. And you can see that in its state flag. Um, the state flag is reminiscent of the United States flag, um, where it has an eagle with its logo ribbon in its mouth. And that's to uh, you know pay homage to the United States. Uh, it also has the two years on it, uh, 1868 and, if, if you can see right there, I guess that's 1868 and 1818 as well. Uh, 1818 is when Illinois became a state, and 1868 is when they designed the, uh, the flag here. All right, so um, what I uh, personally can tell you about Illinois, I've never been there. Um, I used to watch the Cubs game on TV when I was growing up. There was an announcer called Harry Carey, and uh, he used to sing, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, um, during the seventh inning stretch. And me and my brother would watch... Uh, in San Antonio, Texas, we would watch WGN, uh, which is a local channel in um, Chicago, Illinois. However, it was broadcast um, to the whole country if you had a cable package, if you have the, the Turner cable package. So uh, we, we used to watch WGN, we used to watch Chicago Bulls games, we used to watch Chicago Cubs no, games, and in the mornings, we would watch... So you grew up rich. Bozo the Clown. And Bozo the Clown was a local uh, clown in the Chicago area where they would have kids come and play this game where you threw balls into buckets. And the furthest you got in the bucket, um, the uh, the best you would get, uh, the bigger prize you would get or whatever. Hi there, Nico. Hey, Nico. Aloha. Welcome to class. The new merch is here. So, uh, thanks. Uh, we're continuing the lecture. Uh, if you're new to the class here, uh, we do this every day at this time at 12 o'clock. It's a free lecture. Um, I'm a certified teacher here in Hawaii. Um, I've taught at uh, over a dozen different schools here, and uh, public and private. Um, and this is something, a service that I offer here for free on Twitch. Um, like I said, it's something that I used to, that I still do. Uh, you know, charge about 25 to $50 an hour for it, and you're getting this lesson on the great state of Illinois for free. 
So uh, once again, about personal information about Illinois. Like I said, I've never been there. A good friend of mine is you from Illinois. And uh, shout out to Dominique. You have a piece of plastic in your hair. Do I? Tiger. No, that's Sit. cat hair. This is a premium lesson for free. That's cat Sit. hair. Sorry. Sit. It's gone now. That's Sit. cat Sit. hair. Score time. Sit. Oh. All right. Um. But I did want to touch on the fact that uh, Chicago is where the most of Illinois is. You can understand why the rest of the state wants to uh, be separated from Chicago. Um, Chicago is known... Hey, thank you for the emojis, Mrs. J there. Uh, if you subscribe, you get a Moses emoji, a Mr. G emoji, and a Keanu emoji. But another reason why the rest of the state doesn't like Chicago, once again, Chicago has 9 million people, and the rest of the state is lucky if there are 3 million. So it's three times as many people in Chicago than the rest of the state. But also, Chicago is known for a lot of crime. Not the rest of the state. The rest of the state, there's not a lot of crime. But there's a lot of crime in Chicago Sit. and the Chicago area. Help Mr. G with donation also, corruption. Elements. Chicago is the most corrupt city in the United States. Um, there's been numerous politicians in Chicago since its inception, since the United States became a country, since Chicago became a city, and since Illinois became a state, there has been corruptions on every level. Um, from governors to mayors to city councilmen. And and it's not a stretch to say that. Chicago is consistently voted the most corrupt um, city in the United States. That's that's true, Zia. Um, another corrupt city is Honolulu. Honolulu is right behind Chicago with some of the most corrupt cities in the United States. However, um, that's not the case with the rest of the uh, state of Illinois. Also, um, Chicago has a monopoly on a big city in Illinois. Um, there's 9 million people in the Chicago area, and the next biggest city in the state of Illinois is Springfield, which is its capital, with just over 100,000. That's unbelievable. You know, There's not even half a million people in its second biggest city in the state capital. But in the Chicago, there's 9 million. Like, I could make a couple jokes there, but... <laughs> They wouldn't be politically correct, so I'll skip those. <laughs> but still, there's 9 million people in the one Come city. On, it's not even the capital. And um, and the next biggest city only has 100,000 people. Peoria. Oh, she's pretty sad. Like, she goes up to the refrigerator. She's sad about Lucky. Isn't Springfield where the Simpsons lie? No, a lot of people think that. And so the creators, Matt Groening... Uh, they came out publicly and stated that the Springfield in Spring, Springfield Simpsons is not the Springfield in Springfield, Illinois. They stated that publicly. They said it is a particular Springfield, but there are many different Springfields in the United States. I used to live in Springfield, Missouri. That's what I think the Simpsons is. How many Springfields are in the United States? Let's ask Google. Hey Google, volume 9. Hey Google. How many Springfields are in the United States? Here's a summary from the website en.wikipedia.org. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, there are currently 33 populated places named Springfield in 25 okay, thank you. U.S. states. Okay, that's the United States, hey, Google. There are at least Volume 4. Okay, so uh, there's 30-something different Springfields in the United States. But the point I was making is... Uh, Springfield, Peoria, and uh, Rockford, and Illinois, are the next largest cities Set. after Chicago. Maybe Peach wants to go outside and look for Lucky since Peach used to run the streets. She's well known in the community. Peach would be like, what's up, guys? I'm running the streets. Yeah, uh, Peach doesn't want to go outside. Peach is very happy with Moses and Keanu. And Moses and Keanu don't want to go anywhere either. Stream elements. <sighs> Set. The new merch is here. Okay, but, um, so, those three large, the three, uh, the largest city in the state of Illinois is Chicago. The second largest city is the capital, Springfield. The third largest city is Rockford, Illinois, which is, like, near Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the fourth largest city is Peoria, Illinois. When you add up the three, next three largest cities, they don't even equal 300,000. So, you know, not even half a million. So that just goes to show... But there are 2 million, 3 million other people that live 
in the state of Illinois that aren't in the Chicago metro area. That tells you there's lots of farms and there's lots of small towns. Thank you for the subscription, the uh, follow. There's lots of farms and there's lots of small towns throughout that area, which is uh, typical of what we've learned from states in the Midwest, correct? All right, continuing uh, with the slideshow, I'm pretty hungry. Like I said, I skipped um, lunch. I had breakfast. I had, uh, um, it's lunchtime in Hawaii. Um, breakfast, I had fresh chopped peppers uh, with uh, eggs and Velveeta cheese. It was pretty good. Do not underscore time. Sit. What are you having for lunch? Well, I was going to either order something or cook some, a sandwich. Um, I was either going to maybe order a, a cheesy burger. Cody's not here, though. Huh? Speaking of hungry, BRB got to shred the crock pot chicken and add the veggies. Okay. Prince Gabo said, cheesy burger hype, laughing face, MR underscore Nicotino 3 said, MMM burger. So, um, class, attention, please. You can send me. So, as you can see on the board in the overhead projector here, we have the state flag of Illinois. Um, like I said, uh, it says state sovereignty uh, over national union. But actually, state sovereignty is under national union if you look close. I'm new in this channel. Are you a history and geography teacher? Uh, I'm, I'm an um, all-around teacher, yes, all-purpose teacher, but I do generally stick to history and uh, geography. Uh, we have class every day at 12 o'clock Hawaii time, so if you're on the West Coast, that'll be 2 o'clock. If you're on the East Coast, it's 5 o'clock, and the uh, middle of the country is 4 or 3 o'clock. So that is the uh, flag of Illinois. The state bird of Illinois is the uh, cardinal. Uh, which I don't seem uh, to have a uh, photograph of. But everybody knows what a cardinal looks like, right? would say he specializes in women's anatomy. The uh, state flower, speaking of women's anatomy, the state flower of Illinois is, once again, common blue violet. Which is uh, the, also the state flower of, I believe, Wisconsin. Chat underscore 253 said, This is actually a really good idea and take insight from people from those states if they are watching. Uh, yes, exactly. That's what I'm encouraging to do. As the class grows, uh, we're going to continue uh, to have you know people uh, chime in. Like I said, a good friend of mine is from Illinois. Um, she's not really the, uh, you know, chatty type, but, um, uh, but once again, uh, at the end of the show, at the end of the class today, we're going to call up somebody from Illinois, not my friend, but we're just going to randomly call somebody and, uh, see what they think. Uh, this is my Instagram on the page. If you guys want to see all my different CATs and stuff like that, you can check that out. Uh, just wanted to plug that. Continuing with the presentation. The state tree, uh, no, we haven't done Washington State. We haven't done Washington, Oregon, or California. White oak is the state tree of Illinois. And I, I was looked this up because I always thought that there was a story about Abe Lincoln cutting down a cherry tree and how he couldn't tell a lie. Apparently that's all bullshit. But, but, uh, but um, excuse my uh, French... Even though shit isn't French. Yeah, underscore 253 said, what made you want to be a teacher? Um, it's just something that I've always done naturally. Okay, so the state motto yeah, of Illinois is, said, the S yes is silent, dumbass. Stream elements said, I'm just kidding, that's not the state motto. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash All right, interesting slash facts slash about Illinois. Com slash MRG underscore live. So did you know Illinois, um, they're the pumpkin state. Yeah, yeah I said course. that. The pumpkin state. Yeah. They actually grow it's more it's pumpkins than any other state in the country. Come Halloween time, get your carving sticks ready, because we're going to have a pumpkin party. 
Woo! Pumpkin party! I'm going pumpkin crazy. No, but there are a lot of farms in Illinois. You want to know about farms in Illinois? Well, I got you. See, 75% of the total land acreage in Illinois is fucking farms. 72,000 farms, exactly, with 75,000 farmers. I guess some of them got to double up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you got those gay farmers. All right. More than 90% of Illinois farms are still family farms. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Most Illinois farmers are over age 50. Ha! That's older than me. Nearly half have had to hold additional jobs off the farm. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta really stop cursing here. I mean, this is adult education, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's learn some more about farming, kids. Well, some of the things that Illinois farms includes grains, soybeans, live mother effing animals. Yeah, that's right, live animals. They farm them. Some of the biggest... Uh, best meat that you can get comes from Illinois. Meat. Live animals and meat. Is that the same thing? Wheat and feeds and fodder. Fodder? Yo, what, what the hell is fodder? Never even heard of that crap. Uh, in Illinois, there are 74,000 farms, like I said, representing 75% of the total land area. So the only other land area is the uh, projects in Chicago. There are no farms there from what I understand. But uh, let's learn some more facts about Illinois, then we'll learn some facts about Chicago, the one city in the state. So, some interesting facts about Illinois is, Illinois was admitted to the Union as a state in 1818. The income tax is 4.9%, that's low. Springfield is the capital. There are 102 counties in the state of Illinois. And only one of them voted for Biden. <laughs> Sal no, only one. There, there's 102 counties, and I think 100 of them are Republican, and two of yeah, them are Democrat. Total land area Why do you is. Think so many are attracted to the thought of our cities when they are all built drug infested, crime ridden, liberal shot holes. I think it's. Um, I don't know. That's a slippery slope. I don't really. Uh, I, I can't really say, really. The water area is 4.1%. Like I said, it's on Lake Michigan, so uh, Lake Michigan is one of the borders. It's the 25th largest state by area. I have a question, sir. Okay, shoot. people refer to USA as America. As far as I know, America is composed by North America, Center America, and right. South America. That's 100% right. Everyone living in America is and it's very place. offensive to people in Mexico and to people in South America and Central America when they say America and they only refer to the United States. You're, you're right. And it's good to be politically correct there because I have done a lot of studying in South America. Teacher, what is your opinion? Chat underscore 253. Um, I totally agree with you. I appreciate your question, uh, first off. And you're 100% right. Um, a lot of times I'm guilty as well of saying America instead of the United States. But there's definitely a distinction. Because Mexico is part of North America. Um, Canada is part of North America. Uh, Costa Rica is Central America. Still America. Brazil, one of the most populous countries in the world. South America, they're all America. So it's really good to be uh, specific on there because we live in a global world. Um, a lot of people, some people watching, I know there's not a, a huge audience, well, there's a decent audience, but some of you watching might be out of the United States. And, uh, you know, it's good to uh, have a distinction there because America is too cocky to begin with. I mean, excuse me, the United States is too cocky to begin with. So you really do need to distinguish between the United States and uh, North America, South America, and not just say America when you're referring to the United States. So. I totally uh, agree. Okay, continuing with the lecture, uh, a few more fun facts about Illinois. Uh, then we'll just learn about Chicago, and then we will uh, learn about some foods. So Illinois is home to the only river in the world that flows backward. Now, I thought that was an interesting fact to know. 
another interesting fact. Um, we'll just go on with Chicago. But um, but as far as the name Illinois, it's taken from an early French description of the local native language. But there is a lot of uh, uh, disagreement with the name of Illinois and the name of Chicago, where those two names come from. All right, so I'm looking forward to the food. But um, let's learn a little bit about Chicago. We learned about uh, Illinois. Well, let's learn a little bit more. I didn't quite go over this. The Sunday... Uh, was actually invented in Illinois. It's a funny story about that, too. Uh, you notice it's spelled Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-E. Um, that's because it was actually illegal to eat ice cream on Sundays um, in Illinois uh, during the 1800s. Um, the ice cream parlors, they, they really didn't like this law, uh, so they uh, found a way to get around it by inventing the ice cream Sunday. They had the... Uh, Hot Scotch Sunday, they had the chocolate Sunday and the strawberry Sunday, and they would just add syrup, whipped cream, peanuts, cherries, and uh, then they, uh, the local law enforcement were able to, uh, they said that they would let them sell the uh, quote unquote Sunday, but they had to change the spelling of the name uh, because they wanted to respect um, the Bible, the Sunday day of the week. So, really interesting. Uh, yeah, so that's why um, they uh, nicknamed it uh, the Sunday. So I really just wanted to uh, share that um, with you guys. Okay, that's it. Class is over. No, but that is a really interesting uh, thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Once again, uh, check out my website. <clears throat> we had a few people asking about my uh, credentials <clears throat> earlier. If you're still watching, uh, check out my website right down here, gxnetwork.live. And that is a summary of my different teaching experience and different things that I've done in my life as well. Okay. All right. Continuing with the lecture, uh, we're going to go uh, learn a few things about the city of Chicago. Thanks, Mrs. J. So, uh, Chicago is home to seven professional sports teams. It's held two World Fairs, uh, including the 1893 World Fair. Um, which we'll touch on in a second here. That's actually where they got the name the Windy City. If you remind me, I'll talk more about that later. Um, but that was because of politicians in 1893. The Windy City actually has nothing to do with wind, believe it or not. Um, Chicago uh, is a hub of flying activity. Uh, O'Hare Airport is one of the largest visited airports in the world. Um, some of the foods I can see here, uh, you know, the deep dish pizza and their Polish dogs and hot dogs. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, Chicago World's Fire, I mean, excuse me, the, the uh, Chicago, the Great Chicago Fire uh, led to the first skyscrapers, uh, including Willis Tower. Um, once again, uh, we'll touch on these in more detail if there's time in the class. Um, a few more facts about uh, Chicago. Um, before we get into the foods, Chicago is supposedly, like I said, there's a lot of disagreement. It was named after garlic. It's the third largest city in the world, and uh, the city was founded in 1833. Um, Chicago reversed a river flow for sanitation. So if you saw that other fact, um, Chicago is the only... Uh, city in the world the only uh, has, uh, that has a river that flows backwards. So you're learning a lot today with Mr. G's class, guys. Don't say I didn't teach you anything. All right, a couple more facts and we'll move on to the food. One of the largest collections of Impressionist paintings is found in the Art Institute of Chicago, which is one of the premier art institutions in the United States. Is it safe? Um, yes, like I said, the Chicago suburbs are known as one of the best places to live. There is parts of Chicago that are really dangerous, known as Chirac and other areas. Thank you for the follow. There is crime in every big city, though. I mean, um, however, I will, I will be honest with you guys, um, I would never visit Chicago, um, I, I, I wouldn't want to visit Chicago, oh, this is my, uh, Twitter on the screen now, at Gregory Brandt, 
personally, I would never go to Chicago. You know, they say it is safe. And like I said, almost 10 million people live in the area. So it's got to be somewhat safe. But uh, there are areas that are really uh, extremely dangerous. And, um, you know, you hear Donald Trump complain about Democratic-run cities. Um, big Blocks. Hey, Big Blocks. What's up, Mr. G? What's up, Big Blocks? Big Blocks is in the class, guys. Aloha. MRS Jake Mermaid said, I've been there, flew into O'Hare, visited the fancy Park Ridge area, and then the scary area. Oh, okay. So Mrs. J's actually been there. Um, I've never been to Chicago. I've never been to uh, Illinois. I've sold to the Chicago Tribune, though. Like I said, um, that's come up a lot. Um, I worked at a, job, a, a telemarketing job in San Antonio, Texas, where we'd sell newspaper subscriptions over the phone. It was a job that I was really good at, and I actually broke all the sales records there. They initiated a Salesman of the Month award and gave it to me for the first three months until I told them to uh, honor somebody else. Sup, Mrs. J. So, uh, you know, I did sell the Chicago Tribune. That was one of the hardest uh, papers to sell, but I was one of the only people that could sell it. All right, um, but moving on. Um, about food, Chicago, some of the famous Chicago foods. So this is a list of different Chicago foods you can see in the animator there. That's awesome, Mr. G. Yeah, I've, I've lived a pretty uh, pretty uh, interesting life, Mrs. J. Thanks for recognizing that. So some of the uh, famous foods that Chicago, uh, Illinois and Chicago are known for is their deep dish pizza. This is one of my favorite kinds of pizza. Uh, you can't really get it anywhere in Hawaii that I know of, but... Um, if I was ever in Chicago, that's what I would definitely go with first, is the deep dish pizza. Uh, something else that they're also known for is their hot dogs. Uh, Polish hot dogs is a strong Polish community in, uh, in the state of Illinois, and particularly Chicago. Uh, a lot of Polish people would uh, work in the meat factories and stuff like that back in the day. And still, there's a lot of Polish uh, people in the area. So this is something that I've never had before, but it's popular in the Midwest. It's called a Made Right Sandwich. Right is spelled R-I-T-E. I might have had this at a long time ago. Um, somebody made this for me at a restaurant or something. But um, it's something that's really common, apparently, in the Midwest. I don't know. Have any of you... In the class, have any of you ever had a made right sandwich? They're supposed to be pretty popular. This I've had many times. Um, I had my first apple fritter when I worked at 7-Eleven, and this is one of my go-to pastries. If I'm ever at a Starbucks or a bakery, I really like apple fritters, and that's where they're known uh, to make the best apple fritters is in the state of Illinois. Something else in Illinois is the pizza pot pie. Uh, this is the first I've heard of this, but... Uh, it's supposedly pretty uh, common at most uh, <clears throat> pizza places in Illinois, and it's a uh, deep dish pizza that has a top on it, basically. Okay, continuing as we got the lovely Mozart uh, number nine in the background. It's like a bread bowl. Oh, okay, it's like a bread bowl. Interesting. So I told you there's a very high uh, Polish um, population in the state of Illinois, in particular in the Chicago metro area. Uh, this is a common food in uh, Chicago and in Illinois and in Poland. I believe it's pronounced pierogis, and it's a uh, breaded uh, dish that can have uh, fillings of your choice. Um, this is a bit more specific that's supposedly pretty common in Illinois. It's bacon-wrapped chorizo stuffed dates, believe it or not. Um, some other things uh, that is popular there are, is the uh, corn. Uh, they grow a lot of corn. Horseshoes. I'm not even really sure what a horseshoe is. Uh, Euros are popular. And also popcorn is popular. Also, I found this is a popular sandwich in Illinois. This is the Mr. G sandwich. I'm not making this up, guys. The Mr. G sandwich is a common uh, pulled meat sandwich in Set. Illinois. Hello, well, that's awesome. And they serve it at just about a major restaurant. Anywhere that you can get a, uh, a sandwich, a meat sandwich, you can ask for a Mr. G. So maybe I will go to uh, Illinois sometimes or Chicago. 
All right, um, I, that's all for the uh, foods. Bobby underscore Xar said, "Wow." Yeah, I was I was really surprised to see that. All right. So uh, once again, that was the foods of uh, <clears throat> the state of Illinois. Um, every class we do a different state. Uh, first, we'll go over you know different uh, things about the state, my own personal history with the state. Then we'll go over uh, different state foods. Then we'll go over different famous people from the state, uh, general landmarks. And I try to end it with the state song. Once again, we're going to be adding that new thing where we call somebody from the state and uh, see if they what they think Who about it as well. Mermaid. So now continuing, uh, we're going to do. Lots of fun learning with Mr. G. Thank you, Mrs. J. Uh, Mrs. J, you're you're uh, you're a great uh, participant in the class. So uh, now we uh, went over different foods. Now we're, let's go over some famous people from. <laughs> okay, maybe I went a little overboard than that. <laughs> okay, these are some famous people from the state of Illinois. So this guy, um, he's known as a crook. Uh, believe me, they get way worse. They get way worse. All right. <laughs> This guy, uh, Bob Vladovich, or whatever his name is, um, you know, uh, he fits the mold for, um, he, he fits the mold for uh, corruption in Illinois, and particularly Chicago. So somebody else that is uh, famous from uh, Illinois, Kanye West, seems like uh, he's triggered in this picture. I wouldn't want to trigger him. He also lives in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. He doesn't live far from me, actually. Uh, sometimes I ride my bike to his house and just ride around his driveway until he, he his security yells me to get the Man, hell out of there. Said, Trump identifies so closely with corruption that he commuted Blake Ojevic's sentence. Did he? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, somebody else from Illinois, Betty White. America's favorite slut, our uh, grandmother, uh, Betty White, is from Illinois. I'm sure she doesn't live there now. Maybe she does. Uh, somebody else, um, Tim Allen, former crackhead. Also from Illinois. Is she? I didn't know that. She's child free. I didn't know that. Um, he, uh, he is also, uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor is from Illinois. Uh, you know, that's, that show took place in the suburbs of Illinois. Um, as far as the south side of Chicago, uh, Michelle Obama, Healthy Smile, Not a Wig. Oh, I meant to spell a uh, wig, W-H-I-G, as in the wig party, right? Because she's not in the wig party, in case you guys... Um, we're confused. She's in the Democratic Party. Help Mr. G with a donation through Stream Elements. Somebody else from the famous uh, state of Illinois, Bill Murray, the one and only Bill Murray. I swear, uh, he's not homeless despite his looks. Uh, he is not homeless, Bill Murray. He looks homeless though, right? But uh, Bill Murray from Chicago, from Illinois. Um, somebody else from Illinois is the uh, mayor, everybody's favorite mayor, Laura Lightfoot, a.k.a. the genie on the Flintstones. Any scientists? Laura Lightfoot is from Illinois. Who else is from Illinois, Mr. G? Well, uh, Dwayne Wade is from Illinois. Dwayne Wade, which uh, his claim to fame is... Uh, I think he was a professional uh, football player, but he also has a gay son, which is which is really good. It's really good. I really like that part about him. Three elements said the new merch is here. Possibly. And HTTPS colon everybody's favorite. The land of Lincoln. Good old racist Abe is from Illinois. Say he isn't racist. Let's prove it. I bet you I can find like 20 different things that shows that he is. <laughs> so, there you have it. Those are all 
the wonderful people from the state of Illinois. So I also put my regular Instagram on the screen here and uh, we have a new Instagram and uh, it's the new Instagram is just for this class so um, Mr. Yeah. G's live stream that's the new my new Instagram right there Moses and he all your packages to so so far guys we learned about uh, the history of Illinois we learned about the state um, uh, flower the state bird the state tree, some of the state foods, uh, famous people from the states. So what else? Well, uh, we can learn about some famous landmarks, right? What are some famous landmarks in Illinois? Well, thank you. Those are my two Instagrams right there. Well, we mentioned the Sears Tower, right? Aka Willis Tower. Mysteries. So the Willis Tower is one of the largest buildings in the world. Um, is located in uh, Chicago. Um, this is one of the most favorite um, sculptures in the world. Really, it's called Cloud Gate, uh, Aka the Bean. Yes, that's right, the Bean. And. Um, you know, it's it's a great uh, uh, piece of art. Uh, you know, there's a famous uh, architect, Frank Lloyd Wright, is also from Chicago. Uh, if you go into Chicago, this is uh, I think this is uh, one of the areas that's Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, architecture is on display as well. Um, like I said, it's called the Bean, also known as Cloud Gate. Uh, here's another really great uh, image of it here, and everybody really wants to see it there. Um, I'm not really sure too much about the history about it. Uh, hey Google, volume nine. Hey Google, tell me about Cloud Gate. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Cloud Gate is a public sculpture by Indian born British artist Sir Anish Kapoor that is the centerpiece of AT&T Plaza at Millennium Park in the Loop community area of Chicago, Illinois. The sculpture and AT&T Plaza are located on top of Park Grill, between the Chase Promenade and McCormick Tribune Plaza and Ice Rink. Okay, that's enough. Uh, I Google, Volume 2. So, uh, as you can see, it's a cloud gate. You didn't tell me much, Google. Um, this is a really famous sculpture as well. It's called Lions by Edward Kearney. Uh, once again, you know, everybody's all, Chicago, crime, crime. One thing Chicago is known for is art. Uh, the, Chicago, the Art Institute of Chicago is the uh, top art institute in the United States, if not uh, one of the uh, top uh, institutes. The University of Chicago as well as one of the premier uh, colleges in the, United, in the world, really, as well. So um, those are some different landmarks um, that we have. And, um, yeah, uh, so... Those are some of the most famous landmarks, um, the Bean, uh, Sears Tower, I'm, I'm saying both of those incorrectly, Willis Tower, and um, what was it, some, uh, something Gate, <laughs> Cloud Gate, and uh, also the uh, Lions Sculpture. So those are um, three different uh, famous landmarks of Illinois. Um, we touched on the Chicago fire a little bit, um, so I just want to touch on that a little bit more just really quickly here, uh, because that's what a lot of people know uh, Chicago for. And uh, it produced millions of dollars in damage. There was only 300 fatalities, but 17,000 buildings were destroyed. 100,000 people uh, were left homeless. And nobody even really knows why it started. It could have been vandals, milk thieves, spontaneous combustion, a drunken neighbor. Uh, it was fueled by months without rain, strong wind, congested neighborhood, and all the buildings were made of wood. It was finally stopped by rainfall, Lake Michigan, and stretches of unbuilt lots. And on uh, the Chicago city flag, the second star from the left on the city, the city flag, the city flag represents the Great Chicago Fire. 
https colon slash slash s3 com slash so i did want to touch on crime just a little bit so chicago you know it uh, is one of the top crime cities in the united states and you hear about it on the news a lot now um and that's because it, it's gone up a lot you know um as you can see on this graph here um, in the year 2000, you know, it was high. Then it dropped a little bit in the early 2000s. Uh, 2008, um, you know, it started to peak up again. 2009, 10, 11. And then uh, in the last few years, it's off the charts. You can send Mr. G, Moses, and Keanu packages to 1170. And that graph, that with this graph right here, it only goes up to 2018. Um, to show you how bad it's actually gotten in 2019 and 2020. So as you can see on the graph at the bottom right hand class, um, you can see this particular bar graph, this line graph, excuse me, it only goes up to 2018. Uh, to see the rest of the graph right here, you can check this chart right here. Uh, in 2019, there were 495 murders and 2,146 shootings. Just in one year's time, it's almost doubled to 769 murders and 3,261 shootings. So that graph doesn't really even do it justice on the amount of crime that is, uh, that is that is in Chicago. So it's like, you know, welcome to Chicago, you know, get your guns out, you know, don't take a, don't get lost, right? But at the same time, Chicago, you know, like I said, the University of Chicago is one of the premier schools in the United States with an admission rate of just 5.9%. That means out of everybody that applies to that school, only 5.9% get in. That's one of the, the lowest admission rates in the United States. I know this because I went to the University of Texas School of Journalism, which only has a 10% admission rate, which isn't much better, but still. That means that the University of Chicago, it's even harder to get into than the school that Mr. G went to. And that says a lot. And it's one of the best medical schools in the country. The uni Well, the University of Chicago is one of the best universities. But the University of Chicago Medicine is the premier medical school. One of the top three in the United States. Um, with 9,500 employees, 23,000 annual admissions, and 700 physicians which comprise their group. So if you're going to a hospital at the University of Chicago, you're getting premier service, no doubt about it. Similar to uh, University of Texas Medical School. Um, continuing on, um, I know uh, uh, I just want to touch on the fire once again here. Um, there were 250 people killed. Okay, yeah, we already went over that, right? Okay, uh, okay. Some of the famous inventions invented in Illinois are the dishwasher was invented in Illinois. Um, what else? Sorry. God damn it! The motherfucking thing just kept. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the pinball machine was invented in Illinois. What else? Dude, it didn't even have it. It had the pinball machine, I think. Finally. Fuck freaking A. The pinball machine was invented in Illinois. What else? The fly swatter was invented in Illinois. What else? The zipper was invented in Illinois. Where would we be without the zipper? Everybody would be exposing themselves. Mermaid. So, those are some very uh, important uh, things that are were invented in Illinois. You know, I talked about some foods that they they eat euros a lot, gyros. Uh, you know, with the uh, pole, uh, that's actually a Greek food. I worked at a Greek restaurant once. The new merch is here. Um, popcorn is very popular there. What else? They invented the remote control. The first ever cell phone was invented in Illinois. What up, my G? Hey, is that driveway cam? 
What's up? Aloha. Welcome to class. Um, the first ever cell phone, I don't think I have a picture of that, was invented. Cell phone. How, why did I say it like that? Was invented in Illinois. Also, the uh, first ever remote control, Twinkies, were invented in Illinois. Twinkies oh, were eventually with banana cream, so, but uh, they had to ration the bananas the during World War II. So they uh, went ahead and changed it to vanilla, and people were like, yeah, vanilla's way better. So they just kept the vanilla. Um, hey, Google, turn it up a little bit. Uh, there's seven professional sports teams in the state, uh, in Chicago alone. There's no other cities in Illinois except Chicago. And there's seven professional sports teams. Uh, I have four of them on the screen here. We have the Bulls, the Blackhawks, the Bears, the Bulls, the Bears, the Cubs, and the Blackhawks. And uh, if you didn't notice that reference, that was uh, a Saturday Night Live reference. Uh, for these guys, um, I remember they, they've been doing that joke for a long time where the guys were like, the Bears, the Bulls. And uh, Chris Farley, you know, was one of the top uh, guys who did that. We learned that Chris Farley uh, was from Wyoming. I mean, uh, not Wyoming. Where was he from? He was from the last state that we did, Wisconsin, another W state. Uh, we talked about corruption. This is a uh, picture of some uh, corruption politics the Chicago way. Uh, I don't know why Obama's on there. He's not corrupt, is he? But, uh, but yeah, this is the University of Illinois logo here. I'll put that in the uh, corner. So, uh, that's the University of Illinois logo, actually, put it over there. Uh, which is one of the top schools in the United States. Alright, so, we learned a lot today, guys. Um, we learned some of the famous inventions in Illinois. We learned... We learned that Illinois is a microcosm of the United States. Actually, we just learned that. I just you can that. send Mr. G. Moses. Uh, we learned about the cholera outbreak. There's also a cholera outbreak in Los Angeles right now. Uh, we learned about um, different foods that are common in Illinois. Uh, they have good foods there. I mean, uh, I really liked the. Uh, we learned that the Springfield is the capital. It's not the Springfield from The Simpsons. What else have we learned? We learned uh, Illinois is a very corrupt place. and uh, But they have a lot of good food. And a lot of people live in Chicago and there's a lot of crime there. And the crime keeps on going up. But did you know that murders, I think, went up like... If you look at my Twitter, it's on my Twitter. But murders went up like 37% or something across the United States in one year's time, from 2019-2020, murders jumped 37% in the United States. Like, that's the top news story. Like, that, that, like, numbers like that don't happen, usually. can you talk about Oklahoma next class, please? We actually already did Oklahoma. And it was good. Try hard, try hard, try hard. No, um, what I did want to mention is the Windy City. Uh, Chicago isn't called the Windy City because of its wind. No. The reason Chicago is called the Windy City is because during the 1893 World's Fair, um, all of the corrupt Chicago politicians would talk incredibly long with these incredibly long speeches uh, because they had a huge audience available. And so that's why Chicago's called the Windy City, because they supposedly had a bunch of politicians that were, you know, corrupt and also would give these long, uh, elaborate speeches. Um, and so that's why it's called the Windy City. Yes, there is a lot of wind there. It is one of the windiest uh, cities. Um, there's also a lot of Green snow. Uh, being on Lake Michigan, you have lake effect snow. In, uh, in, in, in Illinois. So uh, it's not just windy, it's really a lot of snow. You get an abnormal amount of snow there uh, because of the, uh, uh, because of the uh, 
you know, proximity to uh, one of the uh, largest lakes in the world, Lake Michigan, the largest lake in the United States. Um, I mentioned Frank Lloyd Wright, the famous architect. Um, you know, a lot of his buildings in the Frank Lloyd Wright Museum is also located in Chicago. Um, we talked about the flag briefly. Um, it's paying homage to the United States flag and the United States seal that has the uh, motto um, in the bird's mouth. So um, it became a state in 1818. Uh, slavery was outlawed in uh, Illinois, being the land of Lincoln, uh, which is one of its nicknames. It was outlawed in 1840s, before, well, well before the Civil War. Some slavery still went on. It was outlawed in the state constitution of Illinois. So, and that was um, uh, a bold move at the time. It was uh, long before the Civil War. Uh, so that's something that they can show credence to. They outlawed slavery long before it was a thing to do, you know. <laughs> okay. So we learned um, some of the foods. We learned about the people. Uh, we learned about the history. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We learned about the electoral votes. The 20 electoral votes went to Joe Biden with like 57% of the uh, vote in 2020 recently. Um, what else? Uh, the tallest man to ever live was from Illinois. He was eight foot, 11 inches tall. At that, he just rounded up to nine feet, right? The tallest man that ever lived was uh, eight feet, 11, nine feet. Hey, let's learn about him for a second. Hey Google, volume 10. Hey Google, who was the tallest man that ever lived and where was he from? Robert Wadlow. On the website topmastersinhealthcare.com, they say, Topping our list is Robert Wadlow, the giant of Illinois. Having reached a height of 8 feet 11 in, Wadlow is the tallest confirmed person to have ever lived. Berlin. On the website exenis.com, they say, The Clank Quartet, based in Berlin and Thuringia, was founded in 1991 at the Musikhochschule. Okay, okay. hey Google. Synth hey Google, that's enough. So the tallest man to ever live was from Illinois, Robert uh, Wagner, whatever. Um, Lincoln is the most famous person from Illinois. However, Lincoln was actually uh, born in Kentucky. Um, we're actually going to learn about Kentucky tomorrow. <sighs> no, okay. Or <sighs> Kentucky's known for their basketball team. We're going to learn about Kentucky tomorrow. That's actually where Abraham Lincoln was born. However. Abraham Lincoln was a statesman and a lawyer. Uh, he practiced Some law in Illinois, and he was a congressman yeah. for the state of Illinois. And the Derby. He, oh, the Kentucky Derby. We've got to learn about that. Uh, so tomorrow's class is all about Kentucky. Remember, uh, Abe Lincoln, uh, you know, they call Illinois the land of Lincoln, and he was actually born in Kentucky. A lot of people don't know that. Although you guys learned a lot of things today. That's not the only thing you learned. Have you guys stayed for the whole class? You learned a lot, and you'll do that every day. Uh, with my stream here on Twitch uh, with my class. And all of you are welcome too. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, we're going to learn all about Kentucky. The next day on Wednesday, it's Tennessee. Thursday's Mississippi. And Friday, uh, we're going to learn about Florida. Florida Friday. All right, you got to stay, stay tuned for that class. All classes are at 12 o'clock Hawaii time. So if you're on the West Coast, it's 2 o'clock. Mountain Time, 3 o'clock, Central, 4 o'clock, East Coast, 5 o'clock. And uh, th that's going to be like that for the whole month of January. Next month, we might move it back lot. another hour. That's it. I hope I'm not too late for class for MRG. Uh, yeah, we're just wrapping class up. Class starts at noon today, so we're just wrapping things up. However, I will re-upload the VOD here on YouTube. Um, Fantastic class. So you can uh, thank you, Mrs. J. So you can Thanks check out teaching and giving a quality lesson. You're welcome. I, I really enjoyed it as well. Um, one thing is, you don't want to ever put ketchup on your hot dogs in Illinois, in Chicago. No ketchup on the hot dogs. 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 They'll catch up on the hot dogs. They'll catch up on the hot dogs. They'll catch up on the hot dogs. If you're going to Illinois, I don't want to see you put ketchup on the hot dogs, okay?
Check One more thing. You guys heard of Superman? <laughs> Superman? Yeah, he's from Illinois. Yeah, ask, ask, ask DC Comics. Superman, Metropolis is Illinois. Metropolis is located in Illinois. Uh, what's one more thing? Uh, Route 66 starts in Illinois. It used to be the most famous highway in the United States. It went from Chicago, Illinois, downtown Chicago, all the way to the West Coast. If you read one of my favorite books, is On the Road, written by Jack Kerouac. And they take Route 66 from Chicago to the West Coast. It's a great book. I definitely recommend it. Um, all right, guys. Um, I'm going to re-upload this VOD on YouTube. I'm also going to go live and do some gaming in a little bit, too. So check out that as well. However, my main uh, bread and butter is this class. This, uh, this is what I love doing. This is what I love teaching. If you're new to the class, I hope to see you again tomorrow and the next day. We do this every weekday. Uh, we're going through all the states. Once we're done with the states, we're going to start on the countries. So we're basically booked for the next six months, Monday through Friday. We'll take holidays off. Good to know. Keep your dreams. Keep, keep dreaming. I need you to teach me how to best invade Illinois MRG. Okay, we'll have to uh, work on that like extra credit. But uh, tomorrow's class is Kentucky, Wednesday, Tennessee, Thursday, Mississippi, and Friday, Florida. I'm um, looking forward to uh, Monday, a week from today, is Alabama. Uh, that's also the national championship game is one week from today. Uh, so we'll do Alabama, and we'll do that right before the national championship game. All right, guys, um, I'm going to end the class like I usually do with the state song of Illinois, the Illinois state song, and we'll also look at some uh, some pictures of Illinois. Once again, thank you uh, for showing up. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming to class today. Big Block, Mrs. J, Super Roofer, Wyatt, Muzza, Nico. I'll talk to you guys later, everybody. Yes, I stream games on Twitch. I'm about to do some, uh, I have a nice racing wheel. And I'm going to do some race car games in a little bit. I'm going to take a break, eat some lunch. It's still early here in Hawaii. And then uh, I'm going to break out the race car. And so we'll do that. All right, guys, uh, everybody, thanks for coming to class. I'll see you guys later. Uh, once again, Kentucky is tomorrow. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And uh, everybody, have a nice day. Um, I'll see you guys in a little while. Here's the Illinois State song for your listening pleasures. By the rivers gently flowing, Illinois, Illinois, o'er thy prairies verdant growing, Illinois, Illinois, comes an echo on the breeze. Rustling through the leafy trees, and its mellow tones of these. Illinois, Illinois, and its mellow tones of these. of prairies, Illinois, Illinois, straight thy way and never varies, Illinois, Illinois, to the pond inland the sea. Stands thy great commercial tree, turning all the world to thee, Illinois, Illinois, turning all Screen the elements. world to thee. Sit. Is here, Check it out. Https://murkh.screenalimus.com/mrg_mrg.
Everybody, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Class dismissed.